Welcome back to the Jinx Treasure. Today I want to show you something a little different than normal. Um, I'm going to take this beautiful jade and um, I like the, that it's petite and small and then flat, more or less flat as well. Um, I'm going to show you a cool little pendant trick and um, Another thing that I want to show you, this, if you're not familiar with Moldavite, this is like a little two gram chunk of Moldavite. And I just, I saw it today and I thought it'd be funny. Uh, I have a funny story to share with you guys. Um, back in uh, 2019, I purchased this bulk uh, purchase of uh, Moldavite. It cost about like $200 for 10 grams. Um, well, 10 pieces that were more or less um, like a, between a half gram to two gram size. I think the, the whole bag was about 10 grams for, of Moldavite for $200, which is funny because so I paid about, you know, 10, $20 for this. And um, the value of Moldavite today, I could probably sell this, um, you know, as raw as it is, for probably 150. And so I, it's just funny to me. Um, the story is that TikTok uh, made Moldavite very popular as like a healing stone, a very powerful healing stone, which I can attest to. If you sleep with Moldavite, you're gonna have some crazy intense dreams. Um, but it's just funny, you never know what the, the value of something, it's kind of like gold, you know, the value will fluctuate, so um, you never know. My hunch is that probably Laramar uh, would be the next stone to up in price my understanding is that it only grows in one place in the world and that that, that mine is they're, they're basically mining all that's left now so who knows soon the price of Laramar might skyrocket as well so I don't know just something I thought would be cool to share with you guys anyway without further ado let's get into it so today we're gonna do um, a unique type of wrap and for this one it's gonna we're gonna need uh, 24 and 20 gauge wire copper wire and this is probably just eyeballing about a hands length I probably won't even need that much it's actually even a little bit less than a hands length well it's about about a hands length um, and we're gonna need at least two, I think I'll do three of that same size. So I'll just clip those off real quick. And also, um, this is a style of wrap I might have done once or twice in the past. Uh, certainly nothing recent. Um, so I'm just gonna do my best and wish me luck. Hopefully it comes out great. Pretty sure it will. Um, next, we'll take, we'll do the same thing. Maybe um, about a hand's length of 24 gauge wire. And what I wanna do is first, I'll do, I'll do all three at once. So we're gonna line them up to be, um, you know, I use my finger on the tip to kind of get the, the lengths right. So they're all at the same length. Although I suppose that doesn't really matter because you could always slide it and adjust it later. Um, but for now, we're gonna take, let's see, about the middle of the 24 gauge wire and we're just gonna wrap around all three all at once and you want to be careful to keep it 
um, nice and even, keep them all parallel, uh, rather than have them bundle up and um, cross around each other. You just want to keep it flat. And then just carefully wrap around. And then in a second, I'm going to take the flat part of the pliers. Uh, you can see that flat little square right there. And you're just going to pinch down just to flatten that out. And then actually what I'll do is um, flip it around and then I'll just hold it with the pliers and it makes it a lot easier than holding it with the fingers in order to keep those 20 gauge wires nice and flat. And I'm just gonna wrap basically all the rest of the 24 gauge wire. And then as I, as I wrap outwards, um, I'll also slide my pinch on my pliers down as well to, to just continue flattening out these uh, bands, these bands, these wraps, whatever you want to call them. I'll call them bands. And then we'll do one more um, slide over, pinch down. And then we're just gonna end up wrapping all the way. And then there's a little pokey at the end. If you can see that, how it pokes out a little bit. Don't want that. Um, I think the best way to fix that is to um, just unwind it a little bit and then Carefully stick it between the teeth of the pliers and then just clip off that excess so that way um, the tip end, it ends in between these wires as opposed to up and poking out how it was a second ago. And then I'm just going to flip this around one more time and finish out on the other side, same thing. And then I was thinking, you know, for a really, um, to do it really well, uh, you would want to do what I did not do. So here we have the tip ends on this side and then I flip it around and then the other tip ends on the other side. It's not the uh, biggest deal in the world, but um, I think for those finer details, you do want to have it so that they uh, both end on one side and then that could be the inside where it can be hidden from um, the, uh, the stone. So if I were to put the stone in here, it hides that tip. All right, and then from here, let's see, we'll realign it, slide it so that it's more or less in the middle. to be perfect but from here what we're gonna do is so I have the three wires I'm gonna take the right one the farthest right one bend it outwards and then the farthest left one I'll bend that outwards as well and then we'll do the same thing on the other side just splitting them all down so it looks like uh, I don't know, maybe like a, a, a dragonfly, I guess, if you use your imagination. Um, all right, so from here, um, we're going to take a little bit more of the 24 gauge wire. Maybe we'll do two at about a finger's length each. do 
is wrap those around just the middle wire now that it's split. And um, these wires are a little bit in the way, but that's just something that we will have to deal with. And um, another thing, you can you can start further out on the tip if this is really in the way for you, um, and then you can just slide it down later and, and make those adjustments after you get your wraps. Because you wanna you wanna be able to have enough workspace that you can get these wraps real nice and tight. finish on this tip end so something here I'll show you you see how that last one it's kind of what it did is it uh, well, what did it, it look like it, it wrapped around but maybe it's just a little bit less well wrapped and then you can always just make those adjustments with your pliers by pinching down on the flat part and then spinning around and that's how you finish the the tip end anyway and then we could do this whole thing with just the pliers but I find that um, my fingers just work faster and a little bit more accurate and then as well um, sometimes if you are careless with the tool it could be um, those hard edges of the pliers can scratch the copper wire and that's that's something you don't want to do so we want to make sure that it's tight and that the bands are all more or less even and then we'll get the pliers just to finish that out All right, so that's where it, it, what it looks like. And then what we're gonna do is just slide that all the way down here. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'll grab my other 24 gauge wire. Just start twirling, twining, wrapping. And if you'll notice, the first two wraps, they're kind of gapped and they don't look that nice and I'm not correcting it quite immediately because I'm going to do that when I flip this around and start twirling on the other side but for now I'm just going to continue to finish out this one side. And then now with my fingernails just gonna pinch on, pinch down on this 20 gauge wire and then just slide my fingers towards each other and that's how you tighten up those bands. We'll just keep wrapping. So we slide that down. Now we're about ready to put that crystal in there. Carefully place it and then wrap those middle ones around the edges of the crystal. And you'll notice how these two, 
they um, just kind of hold it in place and then as well on the other side and it just kind of kind of locks itself in there not quite because it's not completely closed yet but um, it's like halfway stable and then so from here we're gonna do um, a little design on each of these um, outward bands. So what we're gonna do is fold them kind of over each other like this. Kind of creates this like Hershey's kiss cone shape. Um, and I noticed that this one, it's a little bit of a sharper angle. You wanna do your best to um, make them both kind of at the same angle because you want to have a nice symmetry to it. And then from there, we're just going to twist outwards, opening up that Hershey's Kiss. And as well, you want to make sure that they are uh, more symmetrical than mine are. You can see that this one is slightly longer. It's not the end of the world. However, it is something that you want to um, go for. And then from here, so we fold this up and we can see, we can imagine kind of how the crystal is shaping up to this, right? And then, so from here, you wanna line up this wire with the end of this band. And then from there, you're gonna do another angle so then it now lines back up and then as well the same on the other side did my best it's not a hundred percent perfect but it will do for now and then what we're gonna do is the same thing on the other side we want to kind of line them up so that this one is gonna bend at the same angle as the one behind it. And then as well, this one. So then with the pliers, you could even just pinch down on both of them to like kinda perfect the size or um, size or what am I trying to say? The alignment. And then same thing, pinch down, curl up, and same thing on the other side, pinch down, curl the wire up. And then from here, we're ready to pull out some more 24 gauge wire. And for this, let's do a hand's length each. And these are, you know, totally just estimate lengths. I think for each stone, it'll be different. But I noticed that in general, like if you go to the store and pick out some, some pocket stones or stones like this, they are more or less generally the uh, same shape. I mean, not, not shape, but same size. So in general, when I say to use like a finger's length or a hand's length, it'll be more or less the um, appropriate size that you need. All right, and then so now the question is, do we want to try to hold the crystal in as we wrap? And I think it's a yes and no answer for the first part. We'll do it without it. But then um, if we continue, if we wrap, say like this side, uh, we'll need to put the crystal in and then wrap this side because if we wrap both sides then we might not be able to fit the crystal in but for the sake of ease I think it is easier to wrap as much as possible without the crystal because otherwise it's just kind of another obstacle to work around um, so from here we're going to take the 24 gauge wire and now that these guys are all bent it's pretty hard to keep them aligned and parallel like that. Um, just take your time, kind of massage them uh, so that they do 
get realigned as best that they can. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be enough that you can start to wrap. And so what I'm doing here, I have one long length and one short length, and I'm, I'm doing that with intention because with the short length, I'm gonna wrap towards the work that I've already done so that I don't have that much um, length that I have to wrap it with. And then that way it'll be easier when I flip it around and start wrapping this outwards. Um, that will be the easier portion of this step. So I wanna have uh, the bulk of the wire getting done the easy way. All right, and then from here, I think we're ready to take the pliers and clamp it down flat. And then get that little pokey tucked in there. Okay, and then we'll just um, do a little quick realignment. And by the way, like it doesn't have to be in the middle, it could be towards the end here, or it could be um, there, although I don't, I suppose that would be the most difficult. Um, I just found it most easy for me to work with the middle. Um, and of course that's, I didn't actually try towards the end. So it's just my assumption that that's the easiest for me. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to try to figure that out. If that feels what's most comfortable for me, then that's what I'll do. And for this, we're going to have to just wind slowly or wrap slowly and carefully because we don't want to cross, um, have, it, have these guys get in the way. Although they are kind of in the way, we just have to work around it. Right, and then from here, flatten it out. Looking pretty good. Working around the wires. We're just gonna continue to wrap all the way until we run out of wire. So for my videos, I'm just thinking about this. Um, I'm gonna ask you guys a question. In my videos, I do the, the full length, the full process, start to finish. And I like that because as a viewer, when I've watched other videos, sometimes they'll, um, they'll pause the video and then continue something like this wrap here. And then um, once this wrap is done, cause it's really time consuming and it's, it can be, kind of like an awkward silence, um, which I understand. Um, and it also takes takes up more time for someone to just watch me struggle through this. Um, but as a viewer, I it's been my experience that I don't, I prefer to see the full length video. Um, just a second, gotta Make sure that these guys are in their proper places before I continue. So like, yeah, you don't want to make, you want to make sure that they don't um, cross over each other and then flip onto like the wrong side. As you do this, which I probably should have said earlier. Um, It's fine. I trust you. I trust that you did it the right way. If you were following along and you were doing it how I did it, then you did it the right way. All right. So now we have these little um, holders, if you will, for the crystal to just get tucked in there. way 
crystal stays in place. This is pretty tough to, um, you know, I think we're gonna try it without the crystal still. Just see if that works. And then, um, yeah, if not, then this, then I'll have to make the adjustments. But anyway, back to uh, the question I wanted to ask you guys is, uh, go ahead, just uh, drop your answer in the comments for me real quick um, do you prefer these full-length videos so that you can see um, the whole start to finish or is it is it better to for the tutorials to just um, skip through kind of like right now this all this struggling process that I have I, th I find that it's better to um, watch the whole start to finish process so that if there's any uncertainty for how someone did something um, you can you can see them struggle through it and understand the other thing too is that it's I feel like it's a little bit of an ego thing to want to hide the struggle um, and just make it look like oh it's just super simple and easy and Anyone can do it, and which is all true, I guess. But except for the easy part, there there's some definite struggle at some points, and I know that some tutorial videos just want to edit that out and just get on with it. So yeah, give me your answers in the comments. What do you think? Do you like the full length start to finish videos, um, all in one take? Or should I go back and do some video editing and just clip out all the time consuming process of me just doing the wrapping? I suppose another thing too is if we uh, lean towards the way that I hope to, which is the full length start to finish videos unedited, um, I can continue on with like kind of uh, thoughtful or fun conversations. Um, as I wrap to keep you entertained because what's life without entertainment value okay so here I see um, if you look closely you can see how this middle wire kind of crosses over to become the bottom wire there which is no good it's not what I want and um, I think, oh, maybe that will work if I just continue to slide it down. And then from here, take the pliers, realign it. I'll have to take this wire, kind of train it so that it knows it wants to go up that way. And then pinch down. Kind of worked. And maybe we just open these guys up a little bit so then this one knows to just fall flat in the middle. I think for, if I were to do this again, um, I, I would know that I really don't have to, I clipped off, so for the 24 gauge wires, right, I did one, two, three, four, and five. The reality is, I probably could have done it all on one wire. That's just um, a lesson for next time. Because the, what's wire wrapping if not just one lesson after another, after another, after another. Constant improvement. I mean, with anything in life, you know, it's the lessons of experience.
All right, so we're getting there. We're almost, we're almost done. The crystal is definitely well snug into place. And then um, I'm just gonna take the ends here and just wrap them around. So that way the crystal is not gonna be falling out. And then from here, since this one's kind of um, tailing off from the rest, <clears throat> I'm gonna take that as a sign to just take this one, wrap it around the neck, starting upwards and working my way down towards the crystal body. And then with the tip, we're just gonna curl that tip in and tuck it in under all that. All right, which leaves these five guys. So let's see. I think what I wanna do is some uh, spirals with these two. So to do the spirals, you just pinch down on the tip of the wire, and curl it. And you can see here how um, it's kind of like a little snake head poking out. Like if a snake was coiled and the head's poking out, you want to avoid that. You want to make sure that it stays flat. And so that's what the flat part of the pliers is good for, is to continue the spiral as opposed to having it coil. Just do the spiral all the way down. To the base and then just tuck it right in there. And then for this one, we'll do the same thing for the other side. This is looking up, looking, looking real nice actually. Pretty excited. First time attempt does not always end this well. That's okay too, because then it's a learning experience. All right. It looks like I might have spiraled a little bit too much. so that it can form. Kind of want it lower than that. It's kind of too high on the top, but it'll be all right. Um, okay, so then these two are gonna continue to wrap around and this one I will use to um, create the neck loop. So what I do is just create this little L, 90 degree angle, and then pinch down with the rounded part of the fingers of the pliers to create this perfect O or uh, like a capital Q with that tail and we'll just wrap that all the way down so that the, the Q tail is um, poking downwards and then we'll take these two guys and wrap one more time around the neck and then um, curl the tips inward. Not perfect, but I think it'll do just as long as it's not poking out to get caught on anything. And then finally, we're just gonna spin that loop around so that the lace 
passes through this way as opposed to going that way. And that's the wrap.